Hello guys, Bar welcome to Barefoot Homestead. My name is Anushka and today I want to do a garden tour. That's why uh, in my front garden that is full of toys and a couple of things that I have to <laughs> put aside but I uh, want to show you the plants that I have made. Well, this is my front garden. Um, this is the gate that I make last year and I make this path this year um, a couple of weeks ago uh, it just mulch I have to take the leaves of it but it is really good um, you can see the difference between just dirt here and the mulch and it's look good uh, just the bricks I don't put mortar they are just in the floor and that's a toy <laughs> I have my cilias here um, I forget the name of those that are oh, growing I, um, leaves again they suffer um, frost damage and then my daughters play with the leaves and take off the leaves off but they are alive you can see the little leaves that is growing again and this one we have a good companion in the garden there and I think a, a spider because it's in my cilias I have to repot them um, that's one of my projects that I have to do um, my elephant ears I have to clean that up don't mind that <clears throat> here beside my cilias this is uh, I forgot the name really um, it's a creeper um, they were a little root bound because they were like in a year a year in um, in a pot of nursery so um, but ha I like the flowers and finally I put a uh, pot it this year you uh, you see when I, I show you this one with the white flowers um, I like the foliage I don't know if they're going to put more flowers but I really don't care I love the flower the foliage I think they're going to put more flowers this is a bug so I have uh, a turn now um, put like a pa pattern the pots in this one and you can see on the other side I have a similar approach um, with these plants I'm going to show you what flowers they put I think this is going to be color purple grasses funny thing this grass I just buy one pot in the clearance area in Lowe's and in a year year and a half I've uh, been um, spread and um, divide it um, because it's multiply and put in new shoots um, you can see the pattern at the pattern here and this is one that is one flowering pretty flower and these are all uh, semi sun shade plants so it's good for this area in the entrance and this is a uh, impatient shady impatient I have another of these plants there but um, that one died uh, I don't know what happened it just like it rot I don't know what happened um, don't mind that that's one when I was cleaning the car <laughs> and leave it there my begonias are thriving look at those leaves last year they don't have this kind of big leaves I really like them they survive the frost Ooh, something you see in my begonias Oh well. 
Hmm. I love the leaves. They put little flowers. I don't know if this year because they have bigger leaves going to have bigger flowers. I uh, have the hookara here. The hookara and um ah oh, forgot the name. Oh. Anyway, I really like this one. I think it's coral something. Um have this one and this very good one here and have flowers there. I'm going to try to collect the seeds so I can propagate more. So I have the pattern and I use um, this one's in the back too because this is have to see um, both sides. I have my finger tree, something like that. Um, and this is considered a house plant. There were three stems in one pot and I divide them. I have two here and one here with the grasses. And I'm not going to put anything of flowers here because the cats, my cats and my dog, um, they walk over there. So the grasses is more, is better for them, for the area. So let's move here. I think this uh, Polios, let me see. Oh, I think I take the tag. Nice. Anyway, it's the same that I show you over there. Oh, those two over there. Um, this was uh, one plant, have three stems, three, uh, three of those I divided. Uh, I was very scared when I divide the tree because I read oh you can't divide them and all that I break the rule and they survive for one plant I have three now the same with this and I'm just waiting for them to grow and I don't know it mix it with my Japanese sprouts here so I can have the height too because I have the height over there and there and then none here all the bushes and uh, I don't think this going to grow more that's already have this year this is a very slow grower um, you can see the tag here and it said shade loving perennial ground cover this is a ground cover so it's not going to be tall I have it with the grass here and I have my llamas and my sun decoration here and I really need something tall here so it can have the pattern but um, I don't want it to be uh, the other ones because I don't know it, I want something similar of the trees maybe I'm going to I can get another tr uh, tree with three stems and divide them and so I can have two here and one here uh, with the tree <coughs> and have those babies the, uh, everything these plants a man for ears including that one big one over there I just this just appear in my garden and just put uh, I put it in pots um, for a couple months that one and then decide to oh let's put in the ground and grow up very big I'm going to repot those two and going to stay in pots come you see my sign that was the dollar store I just put some coats of transparent um, spray to seal it so it can survive here because no wood and here is start my garden I have a lot of stuff running around because I'm reusing pots of old pots and old soil and I have a lot of projects going on and that's my work son that's where I work I think every garden have a work son <laughs> that is a mess so that's mine I had to move these um, tulips and I think this rashi here 
And this is one of my favorites. I got this. They were selling it like houseplant, this hydrangea. And uh, buy four, <laughs> five dollar each. And we put it in this beautiful pot. And it have been growing a lot. I really like it. Um, you can see the color. And it's perfect for this area of my entrance. You can, you know, they have two big trees cover this, covering this area. And this is the bleeding heart pink that is growing. I have another hydrangea here. This is more blue. This is a little bit more purple. Um, this is. Oh, I forgot the name. Let me see. It's the Lily of the Valley. This one's. This is for Shady Area. I have some moms and Dianthus that had to move to the more sunny area. That still oh, job to do. I have to divide this daisy. I know this is a daisy. It's supposed to flower in this year. I have to divide that because it's a big plant for little area. I can spray it to the lower dryer. <clears throat> I plant here bulbs. I think some cold, not cold is, um, I should, uh, I put a photo, but uh, I plant there. Um, oh my, that pot's got down. Okay, let me fix that. This is another hydrangea, my hydrangea is that by, you can see a little more purple and the flowers are a little bit different, it's more tiny, it's more younger and my pink one. Um, I have a problem when I first got it, I wait for repotting and they dry a little bit in the soil and some of the flowers that uh, die. So yeah. It's still wet and sensing. So you can see my begonias sprouting. Oh, see, yeah. Uh -huh. They're sprouting there and there. And this, oh, this one. This is a double impatient. And this is, I think, the third uh, spring. This was a uh, Mother's Day is going to uh, be in, in her third Mother's Day <laughs> um, gift for um, my brothers, the brethren in church. And I know I have a pink one, but I don't know where it is. I think I killed it. Yeah, I think I killed it in the um, in trying to recycle pots. And <laughs> I'm really sad because I really like the pink one. Oh well. This is pansies that I think I had to move. Yeah, they had to go to the sunny area. Um, this is the Oxalis. It's good. I have it one up here down. Um, over there. I had to change the pots. Oxalis, you can see toys. Um, these are two of my house plants that um, I make way because I got some African violets and I first thought um, very naive of me that I wanted for for a side because the flower was, was so pretty and then I researched and I saw that practically that's just houseplants from inside can be outside like these two that can survive outside African violets can survive so this one I'm praying that put lives in it. Um, the stem is alive. The roots are alive. It just that don't have leaves. So, um, this is another house plant. Let me show you. Um, that's the name. I'm not going to pronounce that. It's good for outside too. Um, I'm going to a cat just jump for the ceiling of my home 
to the ceiling of my greenhouse. Nice. Um, so these are my amaryllis that can be outside right now. It's better for them to be in, that be inside the house. And those are moms that have to go to the sunny area too. I have my Brussels sprouts and oh, the cabbage in this area, and they're doing well. They're doing very well. Um, some leftover chicken, <laughs> chicken wire. This, I think, they're um, gladiolas. I have to move them. No, this, oh, this is a Peruvian daffodil. This flower in summer. So I'm very excited. I buy them in clearance the bulbs last year. They don't flower. I'm waiting for this year to flower. Um, kale, kale. Um, my rosemary over there. <laughs> and this is very shady here. Um, I don't know the name of that. That is for the plant that received. Um, because I buy another one of those and it die in winter. I have more grasses of the same grasses I have in the front. And the impatient that you saw there in the pots of the other plant that die, I have it from here the, because that I receipt, those impatients receipt on those pots. I have to fix and put, um, arrange better, put more flowers over there and divide those impatient so they can um, spread a little bit more in pots over there and see if I can get um, something a little bit lower so they can I can have levers levels of um, oh of plants over there it's a little bit of project that is in the list of things I have to do <clears throat> this I don't know the name of these ones I really don't know the name I know it's for sh a part shade area and these are begonias that's supposed to be in the sunny area but do well here in the part shade um, and these are like you can see they trails down and <laughs> spread I really don't mind I have this pot here and oops the other pot in the chicken round chicken cup hey girl hey girl what are you doing um i need your help because bella one of my chickens that one over there she stopped laying eggs i don't know why and she was like a little bit slow last week i make in the water jug I made a uh, mix garlic um, I put uh, a branch of oregano and <coughs> I put um, apple cider vinegar and she's much better and she's um, more active and is eating more because she stopped like eating eating too um, but it's not laying eggs it's just Elsa that is laying eggs oh you can see the that's a green egg layer. <laughs> um, and the other one, others, there are over there. And I, um, you know that in this spring and uh, the I started the season, um, I buy four chickens, uh, baby chicks. In terms of supply, and they were strong runners. And for those straight runners, I think I just have one hen and three roosters. So <laughs> I'm thinking about selling. I'm waiting to they grow bigger so I can be sure that it three roosters indeed. Um, I still don't know. So, I, if it's like that, I'm going to keep one rooster, uh, the other two are going to sell them. So, if you know what is happening to my Bella, 
um, because it's like a week that she don't lay any eggs. She's active, she seems healthy, uh, trying to see her boot, <laughs> to see if she's egg bound. Uh, she don't let me, <laughs> she scratched me. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't, it sounds like cruel, but um, I don't want to pay like $100 to the vet and tell me what is happening. So both of you um those of you that have more experience i still don't have a year owning chickens i'm a very amateur owner of chickens very new owners of chicken so um i need your help, <laughs> your help. um so let's continue um you can see this is where i make my soil mix <laughs> so you can see here uh, it's full of the bags <sighs> these are repots um tomatillo amarilla these are uh tie-dye ber uh, <sighs> tie-dye berkel tie-dye pink um and then i have uh, tamarillo drop and ground sherry and just reput this um, so I'm waiting to let them grow a little bit uh, larger and this I'm just waiting to make way to them in the garden um, there have I think those are colis <laughs> some day lilies over there are more um, Gladiolas that have to move and repot. Some grasses here. This is a mess. This is a mess. And I want to be honest and show you well all the process um, that ha because everything was of those was here before doing the expansion of the chicken run. So now I have to make this area beautiful and I'm going to make this going to be the girls garden and I have some flowers here some snapdragons some English daisies um, this is snapdragon this is verbena um, all this I buy except for the English daisies I buy them um, for one two dollars these were like three dollars in Home Depot's oh this is new tomatoes um let me show you this variety here is Bonnie original. I have two tomatoes in this spot. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for. Two, uh, I need to make uh, where I put it them. Um, this is a patio. I, this is going to be in pots of a patio. I'm going to make a video for this tomato because it's going to be a video about. Um, if you live in an apartment, you are have just a balcony and you want to make a garden. This is a good tomato for a balcony or a patio. Uh, just if you just have a really tiny, tiny space because it just take a pot, um, 10 inches pot, 50 inches pot maximum, and you can have a good harvest tomato. And these are. Lemon boy tomato. It's a pretty yellow tomato. So all these tomatoes, all these are going to save the seeds and for me to sell next year. <coughs> if you want to know how to you save seeds, I'm going to put um I'm going to make a video later. I just tell uh, searching how to do that it's very easy I say searching because I need to buy the things I need for that <laughs> because you have to cover the the blossom before it opens so you know it's not uh, it's not hybrid with another tomato so uh, colors um, grasses more grasses there oh I have herbs over there 
those herbs going to be in my uh, um, raised beds and grown bags with my tomatoes and peppers because that way that can attract good pollinators, good accents, and um, deter and confuse bad insects. Um, that's cat grass. And, uh, woo, wow, nice. Look at that. It's growing. It's growing. Uh, I have Thai basil here. Um, this is chives. Um, chamomile over here. Um, I have to turn it. Uh, that's my tower. So herbs that are going to be over there with my tomatoes that I still have to sell. <laughs> or, oh. So I have more here. Okay, something funny. I put things, these tomatoes here, and I forgot that the chickens can put the beautiful heads, hello girl, through the chicken wire, and they eat this tomato. But half, and this is the tomato variety. So. They eat it, but right now they make this was a sucker and it's going. But I buy another one of those because I really want to save the seeds of this one. I really like the uh, the look of the tomato and the name. So that's there. So I make this and I have to got more this mesh and put her put it all in all in this um, area here because um, I know you see the bamboo over there I know they're going when the tomato is bigger uh, they're going to be roosting there walking and put their heads outside of the fence and eat my plants and my fruit right girls right girls Ah, oh, you're so beautiful. Ah, oh, you're so beautiful. Elsa and Bella, my two princes. Uh, this is a pepper. What kind of pepper? I forgot. <laughs> I think it's a bell pepper. Um, this is another flower that I buy for my girl's garden. Uh, was in Walmart. Let me show you the name. And I really like it because uh, the team for my girls um, that I'm going to do, well, you have to. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say it because I want you to see the video. And you, this tomato here, this is a Goliath bush. This is not going to be um, big. Um, bush tomatoes are, um, they're taming uh, the tournament tomatoes. Um, they don't, um, they are not like in the tournament tomatoes that grew, grew, grew until the frost. This is going to grow, make the fruit, and then die. Um, oh, yeah, this one lunchbox red pepper. <clears throat> I got this pepper to save the seeds and sell next year, and because I like the name lunchbox. It's an interesting name. And I already have peppers. You see? Oh, that's so beautiful. Um, this is a white eggplant. I had I saw some white eggplant seeds, but they were skinny eggplants. Oh, I feel dry here. I have to water this one. And I know some people are going to say, why well, you have an eggplant with two, two tomatoes? I'm going to fill more of this soil. And even I'm going to make something like a moat here. So uh, um, I divide an edge here. So I can put more soil for the tomatoes and keep this soil intact. This That's one of my projects that I have to do. Um, here I have some... Um, big mama tomato and here is 
a check rocky purple tomato. These are all um, dahlias and some uh, canas here. Let's see what dahlia is this one. Don't see the name. Okay, pine pan. Okay. This is Kalas too. So my idea, my plan for this area. I'm going to put canas in the bag so they can have height. Oh, you can see I have flowering. Those are tomatillos flowers. Um canas, then dahlias, and then um like flowers like this that I have around from last year. Oh, what happened with my lantana? And then I'm going to put on uh, my towers of herbs here because it's more easy for me to turn them in this area that in the ground. So that's the plan. I hope everything go by the plan. This is a, a wild pumpkin. Sorry, I put in Spanish the tag, so I have to translate. This is uh, not a flowering plant, it's a perennial. <sighs> it's a ground cover. Um, this is sedum here. Yeah. I think there's some brassicas that are going to give them to the chickens and reuse those. But um, so on my purple rose is angel face rose. Um, here, hmm, hmm, don't like that. I got some other two new roses in trick and sweet spirit. Beautiful, you can see that there's a beautiful fuchsia color, and this is a beautiful dark purple so this is a dark purple and this is just a uh, uh, more uh, light purple one I have um, that's dahlias over there I think those are tricky though let me see Ooh. yeah tricky that mix I buy the bulbs in dollar tree the dumps this is another dahlia uh, called duet this is the combination um a two-tone dahlia white and red some eggplants here that plant cook melon growing hey you have to grow up not back uh, 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 sides you know what They're growing. Ooh, look at that! Nice. And these are dragon tail radishes. Here, you can see the flowers. This is another eggplant here. Because when I take off the uh, dragon tail radish, uh, I'm going to leave the eggplant. And I have a spider over there. This is another rose. The name is. Mojave rose and these are the tomatoes that I need to plant They're over there um, carrots celery Ooh, this plant survive um, I have that for last year Kenneth um, I don't know the name I just love the flower Canis. I don't know. We'll see what's growing over there. This is an empty pot. Okay. First raised bed. I have to secure this trellis that I made with bamboo and mesh. And this is a red noodle beans. And is in with my tomatoes. I have four tomatoes here and you will say that's crazy well yeah that's crazy <laughs> I think I make a mistake but oh well that's cord blue 
I had to put a stake, bamboo stake, through here and here so I can have support for the tomato. Um, this is a squash that I propagate uh, last fall and this is another pepper that I got in the store Gypsy I like the name that's, I think that's why I, I got it I'm going to save the seeds and sell it have my first pepper in this plant too mm. peppers that have two oh, plants is Some bright, I think it's a yellow pepper, and this one, orange sun. Okay, I think that is that one. So these tomatoes were the first tomatoes that I planted here, and you can see how tall. I had to put more soil, so they, uh, I can put all the back up. And you can see all the stem that I'm going to cover and that's going to be roots all that is going to be roots so I'm very happy how well the soft soccer oh, I put that wrong oh, okay that's why I went work with my no nominal hand okay that's blue beauty and why beautiful white beauty here this pretty in pretty and sweet is going to um tiny sweet peppers and this is a hippicante this is a Puerto Rican pepper and um, that is spicy there you go that's for my girls garden too that got it um, more tomatoes here um, slar cherry this is a cherry tomato and this, a, this one is a chocolate cherry and chichita pepper I think I'm going to prune this one so it can be more bushy cabbage I'm debating if I put this cabbage with the one in the other area because it's going to be very sunny here uh, sometimes and hot and I don't want the cabbage to go to seed these tomatoes need support ASAP that's one thing I'm going to do this week this is more tomatoes that I have to plan uh, and there's poor poor tomatillo here this tomato let's see honey delight this is one honey delight is you see how healthy this is and this is just a little bit of cow black cow um, and garden soil with perlite and peat moss uh, this is chichito pepper too and this is chocolate cherry here one this is more a, a salad and this is a cherry tomato the big daddy tomatoes this is a big slicer uh, these two are big daddy if I'm not wrong nope I'm not wrong I just pulled the suckers like yesterday no not yesterday I think it was Thursday over there these are my onions strawberries what the heck is this I have no idea go down this is peppermint and uh, oh my lemon thyme is over there and gladiolus and this is my stevia oh no what's happening <gasps> I have to put some water on this okay what I have here um beef steaks is a classic Ugh, don't want to hurt another plant 
this is a San Marzano <laughs> and we have here Cherokee purple <sighs> I have I have like six tomatoes here six well I was thinking I have no idea <sighs> so I have a combination of paste slicers on <laughs> and cherry tomatoes there nice can I Ooh. my orange tree you can see is coming back okay these are oh, they don't have tags but I write the names um, this is a German pink here they are big um, this is a uh, Berkeley tie-dye Wow, beautiful, beautiful. These are these seeds I got it from Baker Creek. I think I'm going to keep buying them. Yeah. This is another black uh, tie dye, pink. <sighs> I really like. Well, it's another day. <laughs> um, what happened just the day when I was doing the tour is that uh, my cell phone got off. Uh, the battery just died and that's happened when you do everything with your phone and don't pay attention to the battery so let's continue this garden tour it's another you can see there was the pink German you can see here um, I have a early girl here and you can see it's flowering I had to put some more soil in this bag um, some more I think they're chichito peppers <clears throat> and this is a sweetie tomato I think it's a uh, cherry tomato and have a sucker <sighs> you will see me like always pruning that the suckers because I want one stem and all the energy of making fruit in one stem of the tomato and that way uh, it's going to be more fruit more healthy and more, more productive here I have some squash don't ask me the variety the tag just was washed away um, I think this is cooler yum um, so what I have here uh, a Roma tomato Roma if I'm not wrong and you can correct me if I'm wrong is a bush tomato is in the uh, the term tomatoes um, it's not going to grow 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 without <laughs> until um, the first frost this one little guy here is a uh, brandy wine pink you can see how potato uh, leaves here. Um, oh, I think it's a poppy over there. The uh, orange flower. Um, that's a volunteer seed, and you can see my volunteer pumpkins over there. They're going to be white pumpkins, and my cabbage, celery, celery. This is a gladiolus. My fig trees, I have it here. I have to repot them. There I have some mustard, some kales with the poppy. Um, I think some colors too. It, that's always going to be my baby greens <coughs> container. <coughs> um, here I have some dahlias, if I'm not wrong. Let me see. Uh, I don't marker the variety so I don't write it so this variety have to be cream something I'm going to put the photo in the video um, that's calabaza squash uh, is the calabaza uh, is the squash that um, remind me of home these are more onions I have a lot of onions uh, there this 
is the parsley that was in another raised bed that I changed here because that raised bed now is in shade most of the time, let's say. And I want that for my the brassicas that I still have. Um, so yeah. Um, this is a canna. Um, don't be scared of the name. It, the name is Lucifer. Uh, I really don't mind the name. It just I love the colors of that canna. And I was like, yay! I want it. And that's another cream something Dahlia. Uh, this is grapes. You remember the video that planned the grapes cutting? That how tall I have to make here. Yeah, I put it there because I'm going to make like an arch with uh, my bamboo sticks uh, here. Okay, because I have oh I have three grapes that I like that vine. And I have this grape that I finally I repotted. I have to break a little bit of the roots. <laughs> and you can see I have already uh, like little flowers to make grapes. It's a mus uh, muscati. Um, let me show you the tag. <sighs> Musca Muscadine um, grape. And the variety Carlos. And... I put it here. The this was with um, this uh, winter um, lettuce, and I reuse it. I put new soil in it anyway. Um, I love this. Um, I think it's butterfly flower or something. I really love like it. So this one, I don't know what to do, and I think about how to um, put all this because I don't want it in the floor so I'm thinking about make a structure or buy a chipper hook and put it tall like something like that so um, and make like with strings and put it like with the bamboos that I have here in this fence look those are my of rhubarb and I have to one two I can harvest them this year um so I have to wait while well, my flower roses colors is coral color you can see oh, oh, oh. I don't want to fall down uh, more dahlias I think they are echinacea I have hollyhocks too all these are my berry bushes. I have gooseberry, silverberry, um, a lot of berries, blueberries, um, raspberries. That that bean is potato. I had two kinds uh, 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 of potatoes. That one is blue something. It's like a blue, um, purplish uh, potato. And the rest is mixed uh, potato harvest that they sell in the um, in the stores. That blue bucket, um, container, box, whatever you want to call them, is asparagus. I have three kinds of asparagus here. Uh, Mary Washington. The other one is Jersey King and the other one is Roger Purple, I think. Um, <laughs> I really don't know why I buy them. I just always want to grow asparagus. So you can see this is like my orchard berry and grapes. This is a grape. That is a grape too. Um, I'm really pleased that almost everything that I got for um, cuttings is doing good. I have even a lemon tree over there that is grow uh, growing for seed. I, ha I have my white roses there. And this is my apple tree that finally is coming alive again. This is a um, 
avocado tree I have two more over there and I'm sprouting another seed this is a climbing rose that I buy from Kuri um, more potatoes uh, this is red potato um, I'm ultra with the leaves I love this Clematis look that gorgeous bloom you I always say uh, you know that my uh, my inspiration for gardening started um, with a scene British gardens and like and British shows like love love your garden uh, uh, tiny gardens big dreams with Monty and I really <laughs> I'm really emotional when I see the clematis because it's like all all the gardens that they uh, they have a clematis <laughs> it's like a staple um flower over there so this is the garden tour <laughs> um, you can see in a small garden uh, you can have a lot of food um, so if you like this video subscribe um, like uh, you know my name is Anushka this is Barefoot Homestead today I have sandals because it's muddy <laughs> um, uh, so yeah that's all for today uh, so let's bendiga bless you um, until next time bye